let's take a look at some examples of double covalent bonds. So we're going to start out with O2. This is oxygen gas, also called diatomic oxygen. So if you look at O2, we have two oxygen molecules bonded together. If we want to draw the structure to see how the electrons are shared in the bonds there, we can look at the periodic table. And the periodic table here, we have group one. These have one valence electron. Group two, they have two. Skip the transition metals. They're a bit complicated. Group 13 has three. All the way up to oxygen in group 16. Oxygen, that has six valence electrons. Since we have two oxygen atoms, we're going to have a total of 12 valence electrons. These are the electrons that can be involved in chemical bonds. So if we drew the Lewis structure, that would look like this. We have a total of 12 valence electrons. These electrons here, this is the double bond. So this is an example of a double bond. These pairs of electrons are shared between the oxygen atoms. These up here, these are unbonded electrons or lone pairs. They're not involved in chemical bonds, but they're still there. The only way we can draw this structure with 12 valence electrons, with only 12 valence electrons, is if we share a pair of electrons. Each oxygen shares a pair of electrons. Because now, this oxygen here, it has a total of 8 valence electrons. That's an octet that's very stable. This oxygen here, it also has a total of 8 valence electrons. And that's because we formed this double bond here. So oxygen, that's a really good example of a double bond. We could also write the double bond just using lines, like this. Here, each one of these lines, that represents a pair of electrons, a pair of shared electrons in the double bond. Let's look at another compound. How about ethene? So we have C2H4, two carbons, and then we have four hydrogens. And we have a total of 12 valence electrons, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. These lines here, they represent a pair of electrons. And here, I have it written as two dots. You could just write it as lines. Hydrogens, they only need two electrons to have their outer shell full. So the hydrogens, they're all good. They have their two electrons. And then each carbon atom, this one here has two, four, six, eight, an octet. Here we have two, four, six, eight. So that's why we have a double bond in C2H4. So this is another example of a double bond. Let's look at one more, acetone. So in organic chemistry, quite frequently, you'll see a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. There's our double bond there. That's two pairs of electrons shared. Then we have these lone pairs up here. They're not bonded, but they're still there, and they're important. So we have eight electrons here. That's an octet. Carbon has two, four, six, eight. That has an octet, and so on. So yet another example of our double bond. This is Dr. B with three examples of double bonds. Thanks for watching.